Good morning everyone and welcome to Geralt Photographer's hotspot for South Bavaria If you're wondering what Geralt is It's a small village near Garmisch Partenkirchen Just north of the Alps And it has a small lake with a very nice view And I'm here at 6 o'clock in the morning And there are already more than 10 photographers here All set up in the same spot take the photograph. I chose to keep away from all the other photographers and instead photograph the Zugspitze and the Alspitze to the west. We are covered in fog at the moment, which wasn't here just two minutes ago, but I'm sure it will go away again. So here are the two peaks that I'm photographing and there are two small lights at the top of the Chuk Spitze which is what I want to capture here which is the peak on the right Still here at Gerald, looking for a different location, for a different spot to photograph. There's a very nice spot up there behind me, but there must be more than 20 photographers there by now. So I'm looking for something else. Also, I don't know if you can see them, but I want to photograph those pics at the back, maybe with a lake also, and if I can get them before the sun rises and colors them so let's see if I can get there in time I need to go to the other side of the lake which is as you are looking somewhere over there so not very far away but uh, let's see this is however indeed a very beautiful place as I said we are at the uh, beginning of the Alps is the German side right behind the mountains in front of me is Austria and that's where things get serious with the mountains so these are the pics that I wanted to photograph now with this little hut in the foreground and they were the sun hit them about five minutes ago they turned orange and now suddenly the light is gone within two minutes the light is gone, I think. There must be some cloud between the peaks and the sun at the moment. Although the sky seems to be blue, there is a... On the, on the east there is a small uh, layer of clouds, so probably that's what obscuring it. I hope the sun comes out again and uh, hits the peaks and they get the right color. Okay, so this is the shot that I wanted to take 
before at uh, it's these those two picks the Chukspitze and the Alpspitze with these uh, the huts in the foreground. I took it already actually because uh, the conditions change constantly so as soon as the light appeared I didn't want to waste any time with the video and I shot the, I took the shot. Actually I had to take it four times because I moved the camera in between the in between exposures. But I hope it's gonna be okay now. But the landscape is changing completely here. With the fog coming in and out all the time. The sun is not it hasn't risen over the mountain yet. So there's there are so many opportunities to photograph and I can understand why so many photographers are here. This morning it's the first time that I see so many people in one location at six o'clock in the morning. There must have been 20 photographers here. Anyway, I will uh, move on towards uh, towards that side of the lake, and uh, then um, I will see what else I can photograph on over there. The sun has come out now and it is rapidly transforming the landscape. We have mist rolling in all the time, leaving again. And I have spotted a, I have spotted a tree which is right across the lake and it's particularly it has particularly bright yellow leaves and I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the sun to hit it to see if um, it will light it up, which is my hope and then I will photograph it with this uh, hat as the foreground and the other hat also in the frame so I think another few minutes and then then it will be ready Well, the sun is in the right spot now, but the mist isn't. It is in the entirely in the wrong spot, and it's obscuring the tree completely. So I don't know. I will wait a bit longer, and I hope it will go away, and I will be able to photograph the tree. I think I have another five, ten minutes of nice light. Well, the mist is gone now. Within two minutes, it cleared out, and I got the shot that I wanted. But I think I'm going to move closer and get another one. And by God, there is a drone even here. I think there are more photographers here than in the Cannes during the Cannes festival.
gonna move on towards the lake now and to the towards the east. Maybe even go beyond the small ridge here towards another lake to see because I have seen a photograph of a very nice uh, spot and I see I'll see if I can find it and photograph it. I don't think the sun will bother me in that particular place. Definitely a place I'm gonna come back again. I have found this nice spot here with the mountains in the distance and the lake framed by these trees left and right and also a nice tree stump right here to serve as foreground. And I have tried several compositions. I think the one I have now is the best. I'm gonna take the shot just so that I have it. Now it's not a particularly nice shot but at sunrise this will truly be spectacular, I think. Uh, needs focus, needs focus stacking, definitely. So I'm gonna take it now, just to have it, and um, I'm, I'll come back another day, again at uh, sunrise, and we'll see if I can, if I'm lucky. Tuchspitze has one of the biggest ski resorts in Germany. You can take a lift to get up there within 30 minutes. 
Otherwise, around the five hours walk towards to the peak. The Alpspitze also has a lift which takes you almost to the top, but not all the way. There are also two gorges here in the area. One is really beautiful, it's called Partnachklam. It's really gorgeous. I've been there twice to take photographs. I think I'm gonna go again one more time. The other one was not so nice, so I don't remember its name. So now I've arrived at the next beautiful lake here, which is called Barmse. It's around half an hour walk from the from Geraldse, where I was before. I've been to this lake before once in the winter, and it was really nice. But this is the first time I come in this uh, at this season. Anyway, I didn't find the spot I was looking for, but it doesn't matter. This was a beautiful walk today. I think I'm going to head back now towards my car, and uh, I'll see if I can spot any other. Photograph photo opportunities for, for another day. Okay, I think I found the spot that I was looking. Actually, I was right next to it, but it's very difficult to, to see because the photograph was taken from a vantage point, from a higher vantage point. And uh, the scenery has changed a bit since the photograph was taken. So, I think they have cut down some trees or something. So I'm going up a bit now, just to see if this is indeed the, the, the spot where the photograph was taken. And then, that's another one. I ran the rain check for an, to come back another day under better conditions because the, the sun is really high now and really bright. Let's have a look. I think this is indeed the spot where the photograph was taken. But the road was much more pronounced in that photograph. The S-curve on the road. The S-curve is there, but it's barely visible from here. So I don't know if the conditions were different, or if somehow that photograph was taken from a higher vantage point, although there isn't. It's, it's impossible to go higher where I am now. Definitely with a, with a longer lens was the photograph. It's a nice spot with the road, this hut over there and the trees around it. I think I'm gonna take a photograph just to have it for another day. In the end this wasn't the right hut. Anyway I took the photograph and it didn't turn out bad. I went for a panorama crop in post-processing and for subdued colors although I was tempted by another version with uh, very vibrant colors. So I'm back at Geraldze now. It's been a wonderful day. It's very sunny, very warm, and the path is now full of bikers, children, hikers, and I think I'm going to call it a day. I must say I've been a bit overwhelmed today. It was such a beautiful place, and I, it was difficult to decide what to photograph. But I think I got one fo good photograph and maybe one or two more presentable ones. So I'm, lo I'm looking forward to going home and seeing it, uh, what I photographed. I definitely need to come back here. But um, on a, probably on a weekday, I need to take a day off and come on a weekday so that it's not as crowded and I can go to the spots that I prefer. 
I'm gonna leave you now and I'll see you next week. Next week, the forest paths are getting crowded. I fail to notice that my camera casts a shadow in the shot, and I'm taking twilight photographs in the mountains.